Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Until Dawn. This is the remake and I'm playing this on my Steam Deck Steam OS. So let me show you my Steam Deck system. I'm using the stable OS. So 3.5.19, that's the latest stable released as of recording. And I've got four gigabytes of VRAM. And then um, I've got higher utilities on recommended settings. Okay, and like I've installed a mod for this game because this game does not run well natively and I think there's a issue with the FSR3 frame generation. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by there's an issue. So if I turn on FSR3 and then I turn on frame generation, right? And then I save the settings. It doesn't kick in. It doesn't kick in. If I go back to settings, it just like disables the frame generation so it never kicks in see that it's, it's just gone so yeah it's kind of weird i think there's going to be an update for this okay so i've installed the dlss enabler mod okay that's why i can toggle on dlss which is not really dlss it's it thinks i'm using an nvidia display card and then um that's why i can toggle it on and then it translates it to fsr 3.1 and then i can toggle on the frame generation as well that's the purpose of the mod and it makes it run a lot better. Okay, so let me show you. So it, it does stutter still a little bit, but like natively, if you're using just FSR and then like FSR 3, frame generation doesn't kick in. It, it, it drops into the teens, maybe single digit FPS. It, it's really, really bad. Uh, but now with this mod, at least it's playable. So if you're playing this game on the Steam Deck, um, yeah, I think you should install this mod. You see, there's still dips in this. And it's a free mod, so yeah, why not? Why not install it? Uh, you can still see the frame time is going crazy. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's just one of the side effects of frame generation, I guess. It's using a lot of resources to generate extra frames for you. And yeah, this game is just not well optimized at the moment, I think. Okay. So let me show you what it's like, like native. Okay, so here's my settings, windowed 720p, frame limit off, camera aspect ratio 16 by nine, and then the graphic quality preset set to low. Okay, I turned off motion blur, turned off film grain, chromomic aberration, bloom, turn all that off. Okay, and then if I just use FSR 3 performance and I'll try to turn on frame generation, which won't, won't work. Okay, something like this. Here's what it feels like. See that? The graphics look a little bit worse too. See how it's a little bit more pixelated? And look at, look at the frame, frame rate. At the top left, like teen, 20, and it stutters. It, it, it's just not good. Okay, let's do safe. Oops. Yeah, this game like not really running good on the steam deck so definitely use the definitely use the mod all right so i think you know what it's all about i'll take you back to my steam deck's desktop mode and i'll show you how to install this mod see you back there before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check them out using my link below. They're a gaming website that offer games on all platforms, a PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo, and they offer big discounts. So if you want to buy games cheap, make sure you check them out. And they can do this because they buy the games directly from the game developers, cutting out any middleman, and they buy in bulk, so they negotiate deep discounts. One of the games I'm really interested in right now is Star Wars Outlaws, because I'm a big Star Wars fan. But after reading the reviews, uh, I'm not sure if I want to buy this game at full price, but right now it's on instantgaming.com with a 49% discount. So yeah, at this price, I'm kind of tempted. 
I'm also their official partner. So check out my dashboard. So it's a win-win-win situation. For Instant Gaming, they get their promotion. For me, I get my sponsorship. For you guys, you get to buy games cheap. And also, because I'm their official partner, I do get a little kickback for every single game that you guys purchase using my link. And if you take a look, a lot of people have been using my link to buy games already. So I'm getting a little kickback. Okay, a lot of games. So thank you guys for supporting me. It supports me every time you buy a game using my link. I get a little kickback. And also, because I'm an official partner, Instant Gaming offers my viewers a chance to win a game every single month. So last month, uh, we did a giveaway and Yosha won and he chose the game. It, like When you win, you get to choose the game of your choice on your platform. And he chose God of War. Okay, and you have to participate every single month. So this month, if you joined last month and you didn't click join this month, make sure you go and click on my giveaway link and participate. The next giveaway is in 25 days. So make sure you join that. You know, it's a win for you guys. Thank you, Instant Gaming, for sponsoring me. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you want to do is you want to locate your game folder. Okay, mine's a non-Steam version, so my game is right here in my games directory that I've created until dawn. For you, if it's a Steam version, it's normally in your common directory, so locate that. And then inside here, you'll see a Windows directory, Bates, Binaries, Win64, and here's the directory that you want to put all your mod files. And second thing you want to do is download the mod. So I'll link this in the description for the DLSS enabler mod. It's a GitHub page. So depending when you're watching this video, uh, the version might be different. Okay, but for this video, I'm going to be using version 3.02.000.0. This is the latest stable release. If you want to be adventurous, you might want to check out some other versions. All right, I know 3.03 is out. It's an alpha pre-release. So if you want to be adventurous, you want to try out different versions of the mods, uh, feel free. Okay, but I'm going to use this one and then go to assets and download the exe. Okay, just wait for it to download. Okay, I'm going to wait for it in my downloads folder. So this is my downloads folder. It should be ready soon. Okay, so it's an exe. Right click it and then add to Steam. Okay, open up your Steam library and on the left hand side, you should be able to see the installer. Okay, it's right here. Click on the gear icon, properties, compatibility. We're going to force it to Proton Experimental. I think that's the easiest one to use. And then just click play and it's going to, you know, create the prefix folder and then the program's going to launch. Okay, here's the program, the installer. Okay, accept the agreement. Next, next, and then here it's gonna like you have to point the directory where you want the mod files to be installed. Okay, you can point it directly to your game folder, or I like to do this. I like to just like here in my downloads folder, I'm going to copy the name of the version of the mod I'm using, and then I'm just gonna create a new folder and then paste the name. Okay, and I just want to install it here for easier reference in case, you know, I want to install it to another game. Um, let's go back to the... Oh, oh, here it is. Okay, so let me show you. This is just a blank folder. Okay. Okay, and then browse. It's in the Z drive because... This is the internal SSD, home, deck, downloads, oops, downloads, and then DLSS enabler setup 3.02. Okay, so make sure the path is correct. Then next, and like you can try out different versions. So normally we use version.dll. If you find that you installed this and it doesn't work somehow, the DLSS can't be toggled on in game, you might want to try WinMM. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the like the bottom one, the experimental one, dbghelp.dll. Okay, and then make sure you check this, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs because we're using the Steam Deck and it's using an AMD APU. So this is what we want. Next, install, and you can see uh, it's populating the folder. 
Okay. And then you get this error. That's fine. It's trying to do the uh, reg edit. It works for Windows, but on SteamOS, it has this error. Okay, and we don't need to read the readme. Finish. Okay. So once you've got all these mod files, select them all, copy, and paste it into the Win64 file. I've already got it, so that's what I need to overwrite. Okay, and then uh, you've got this file called nvngx.dll. Okay, it's 185.5 kilobytes. We want to overwrite this file with another file. Okay, so let's locate that file that we want. So go back to your game folder until dawn, Windows, Engine, Plugins, Marketplace, NVIDIA, DLSS. So binaries, third party, Win64. It's a pretty long directory. This is the file we want, the 48.9 megabyte file. <laughs> Copy it. And then just paste it here and rename it to nvngx.dll. Oops. .dll. Okay. So we've made a copy of the file. And then we're just going to cut it. Going to cut it and go back to your game folder. Windows. Bates. Binaries. Win64. And then just paste it here. It will overwrite. So it's going to overwrite the 185.5 kilobyte file. That's what we want. Okay, done. Okay, now we can just close the Dolphin. Go back to your Steam library. Okay, and we can delete this. This installer, we don't need it anymore. So manage. And then remove non-Steam game from library. Free up some space. Then go back to your game. Click on the gear icon. Properties. Okay, and make sure you add this launch options, okay? I'll, I'll paste it onto the description so you can just copy and paste. So wine DLL overrides equals uh, open quotation dbg help equals n comma b close quotation mask space com, uh, percentage command percentage. Um, so depending on what version of the mod you're using, so if you're using version.dll or winmm.dll, you have to change this, okay? So if you're using version.dll, change this to version. If you're using winmm.dll, change this to winmm. Okay, I think you get the point. And then now, let's test the game. So let's run the game. And if in-game, we can toggle on the DLSS settings, then the mod is working fine. So if you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Okay, so I'm playing this on Windows. So when you uh, launch the game with the mod, uh, for the first time normally, it will recompile the shaders. But it shouldn't take too long. Okay. Okay, let's check out the settings. Video, and then let's scroll down. Okay, you can see here, DLSS. Yeah, it's working fine. It's working fine. All right, so that's how it's done, guys. So let me know in the comments if you have any issues or, you know, maybe just leave something nice and we can engage in a conversation. I normally read all my comments and I respond to them. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.